When we talk about cases and patients, it's important to remember we're talking about people, family, friends, neighbors. New 10, an emotional farewell to a Valley tow truck driver who passed away from the virus. ABC 15's Event Blandin reporting from Maryville with a message from his family. This is the face of Paul Rodriguez. We thought losing was over, but to have him not here, especially before the holidays, it's like an emptiness. Miranda Rodriguez, Paul's niece, trying to fill her mind with memories. We fought and then love and fight, and he just wanted to help everybody. Anytime I needed him, he would say, Okay, you know, I'll help you. Helping people is what Paul did eight years as a AAA tow truck driver. So many who worked with Paul rolled through his Maryville neighborhood to honor his life. It was extraordinary, something that, you know, I didn't expect it. As Paul's friends and co-workers drove by, his grieving father, Julio, reflected. I was saying that this is for you, Mio. This is for you, my son. Paul's father says his son was not vaccinated when diagnosed with COVID in October. He died in November. He was my friend, my best friend, my buddy, my son. Losing him, I lose half of my heart, half of my life. Who is Jordan? Even Santa made a stop to help comfort Paul's four children. As you can imagine, the glow from nearly 17 trucks let off enough joy for the Rodriguez family, but they also took a second to acknowledge their pain. I just beg, you know, beg and ask anybody that's not vaccinated, please, you know, please go and vaccinate yourself and don't put your family through what we're going through. The Rodriguez family says Paul eventually decided to get the shot, but was never well enough to take it. What if he would have been vaccinated? He would, maybe he's still good here, who knows? The what ifs is what hurts the most in all this. In Phoenix, Vincent Bland in ABC 15 Arizona. Vinny, thanks. Paul Rodriguez was 38 years old. According to his family, blood work pro proved to doctors that he was fairly healthy, but we're told he did have a pre-existing condition.